Hey, this is Nicola A. Menzi, religion reporter and managing editor at faithfullymagazine.com. Have you heard about Project 2025? Have you read the 900-page so-called Mandate for Leadership book? It lays out an ultra-conservative vision for America under a Republican president, maybe Donald Trump. Well, I haven't read the entire thing either, but I did do a quick search of the 900-page document to see what it says about religion, specifically Christianity. What I found is pretty troubling. But first, what is Project 2025? Project 2025 is a far-right conservative program led by the Heritage Foundation that outlines policy proposals and personnel recommendations meant to totally reshape the U.S. federal government if a Republican candidate wins the 2024 presidential election. So this 922-page book called The Mandate for Leadership, The Conservative Promise, as a chapter outlining proposed policy changes for the Department of Labor and related agencies. This chapter opens with a mission statement opining on the Judeo-Christian tradition stretching back to Genesis. Then you keep reading and you get to a part calling for fair labor laws to be changed to compel Americans to observe a Sabbath rest. It states, God ordained the Sabbath as a day of rest and until very recently, the Judeo-Christian tradition sought to honor that mandate by moral and legal regulation of work on that day. Moreover, a shared day off makes it possible for families and communities to enjoy time off together, rather than as atomized individuals and provides a healthier cadence of life for everyone. The solution, according to the Project 2025 Architects, is for Congress to amend the Fair Labor Standards Act to require employers to pay time and a half to employees who work on the Sabbath. You may recall that Shabbat is referenced a few times in the Bible, but most thoroughly in Exodus 20, verses 8 to 11, that's where God, giving his fourth commandment, tells the covenant Jewish community to rest and refrain from their usual work on the seventh day. To the average Lord's Day observing Christian, uh, this might sound nice. No more wrestling with an employer about getting Sunday off to go to church. And according to Project 2025, the whole point of a national Sabbath rest is to bolster jobs that don't require work on the Sabbath and simultaneously broaden options for those who do not want to work on the Sabbath. It makes so much sense, right? But when is the Sabbath and which workers would this apply to? According to Project 2025, the Sabbath by default is Sunday. So the law would preference Christians. That's problematic. First off, the Project 2025 proposal is very Christian-centered. Why would that be a problem? Perhaps that little thing in the First Amendment of the Constitution called freedom of religion? Although this Project 2025 Sabbath policy makes accommodations for Jewish Americans, it's attempting to establish a Christian practice as the law of the land whether you happen to be Christian or not. Doesn't that violate the U.S. Constitution? Second, the official God-given day of rest originates on a Saturday historically. So what about Christians who don't observe Sunday as Sabbath, as the biblical Sabbath? Are they a separate class of Christians? And what about non-religious folks and Americans of other faiths? Could they be targeted for harassment? Sure, it looks nice on one hand. Project 2025 is promoting a national day of self-care. But this proposal for a federal law is rooted in one particular religious vision. Why should the government be involved in controlling otherwise personal religious observances? Believe it or not, America is not a Christian nation. 